What is going on everybody ladies and gentlemen Simply Pops here and today is a very very special day in the jailbreak community because well iOS 9.3.3 has been has been released and we have the jailbreak so I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your device from 9.2 to 9.3.3 let's do it man we can jailbreak alright so first things first you go to the link in the description this is the the PP jailbreak site it's really from Pangu but yeah, so you just click on this blue link, right? Now it is a little bit of a traffic going on, but uh, see, look, 21 minutes. It's it's some wild time, but but I already downloaded it on my computer already, so you guys don't have to sit there. And yeah, so just go to the link in the description, click on that first link, and that's step one. Now step two, before I even do anything, make sure your passcode and your Touch ID has been turned off, so everything is off. My passcode is off. Your iCloud, you log out of your iCloud. And what I like to do too with these jailbreaks is to have the auto unlock, the auto lock to never. So it just doesn't interfere. That's just what I like to do. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Make sure those things are intact. Another thing too to keep in mind, those of you guys that's on Mac, fellas, that's people on the Mac, you, this you cannot jailbreak because this is only on the PC only but you guys can run a virtual machine so right now I have the Mac you guys can see the keyboard all of that when you're doing Windows always run as an administrator that's always important yeah so once you download the PP jailbreak you present it with this so plug up your device that's obvious to your Mac or PC if you run it on the Mac make sure you have a virtual machine I am using boot camp and yeah you just simply click on this green button now it is in Chinese, it is a little wishy-washy, but uh, trust me, this should work. Trust me. So you click on that button, all right? And those of you guys, if you have an Apple ID that has a uh, two-step verification, make sure that is off because you won't be able to jailbreak if you have that on. So it's a little bit of a different process. The um, iOS 9, remember the, the iOS 8 or iOS 9, jailbreak it was using the the photos app you know that was pretty cool but now we have boom your apple id so make sure you're entering your apple id and your apple password trust me guys this is safe the enter mine's in and all right once you enter your apple id and password in it should begin the jailbreak process so now basically what it's doing is going to create a brand new app on your your springboard or your home screen you just basically touch on the app and basically it's going to jailbreak from that app and you got to lock your phone and another thing too to keep in mind this will only work on 64 bit devices so if you're on iPhone 5 or an iPhone 4s this will not work because that is a 32 bit device so it's time to step your game up I hate to put it that way but it is yeah so we're just patiently here waiting patiently waiting here and oh yeah while that's going in the background I'm still here I'm still right here this is going to take like about 5 to 10 minutes. So as we wait in, I'm looking at the list of tweaks that are actually compatible. I also throw this in the description. Uh, so you have all these tweaks. Yeah, so be sure to check this list out because you do not want to lose your jailbreak. Because once Apple makes an update, another update for iOS 9, which is going to be um, 9.3.4, that's it. You might not even get a jailbreak until iOS 10, which is going to be... Uh, you know next year we're not even gonna see a jailbreak until next year I would say uh, but you never know and alrighty guys it finally finished took some time like about five to ten minutes and yeah so now it came up with this app right here I'm gonna show you guys why you should jailbreak too at the end of the video I can't tell you how I'm excited for this alright so basically you launch the app hope oh, I am all right before you even launch the app you gotta go into your settings right you go into general you go all the way down into uh, profile and device management right and then you're gonna have your developer account right now this is the Apple ID that you guys put in earlier you touch on it and all you gotta do is trust it simple as that once it's trusted and verified then you launch the app all right and a moment of truth we're gonna agree to that we're gonna say yes we're gonna tap this circle and we're gonna lock our device so now what's gonna come up with my device is gonna actually turn on it's really gonna reboot but it's gonna let me know jailbreaking I can't tell you if you've never been jailbroken before 
you've been missing out a lot. Alright, so there you go. You know, I just know that I had, uh, I had do not disturb on. Oh my god. Anytime you're having problems, push and hold the home button and the power button together. Let me try that. Alright, we tap on it. We, K, we say OK. We tap on this. We lock our device. Alright, so we have a little notification. Now, do I slide to view it? No, oh, okay. So I messed up the first time. This is my first time doing it. And yeah, you know, you live and you learn. Now I know it next time when I jailbreak someone else's device, I just leave it on like that. So now, this is where we're going to get Cydia. Guys, jailbreaking, I can't tell you. This might be one of my favorite days of the. Eh, I can't even say this month, but I am so excited for this jailbreak. Anything you can think of. You can get 3D Touch. This is an iPhone 6. Not the 6S. This is the 6. You can get 3D Touch on this thing. Alright, so we should be presented with Cydia somewhere. Oh, we don't. Alright, so I've been presented with Cydia. And it was easy. But it's a little tricky and something that's like totally new. Like, normally, we back in the old days, we just click a jailbreak button and that's it. But now you got the photos app and you got the profiles and now look I have Cydia right there. Alright, and this is this is the beautiful part seeing Cydia on my iDevice again. See? So you guys can see it. iOS 9.3.3. You guys can see I have night shift there too. Guys, Cydia running on my device. It's been 200 plus days. And it's finally here. And before you even open up and download all your favorite tweaks, search up. But matter of fact, it gotta. Don't it gotta. All right, let's refresh that. It gotta be refreshed. And look, well, you know what? All my sources is there already since the last time. I don't support piracy, but it's definitely there. I used to hack my iPhone to get the free music. You know, uh, what's that? Link tunes. So it got all my sources here automatically. So I, I'm a jailbreak veteran. I never showed it on this channel, but I just figured why not? Let me share it with you guys. But before you even do anything, search up for Apple Conduit, or is it called? I forgot. It's been such a long time. It's it's Apple something or Cydia Substrate. You definitely need Cydia Substrate before you even do anything. You need that. Install that. I know I'm a nerd for this. But Cydia and jailbreaking is life. This really do change the way you use your iPhone. This revolutionized the iPhone. Certain features you guys see on iOS today was coming from the jailbreak. You don't understand. I'm definitely going to be making some top 5 reasons why you should jailbreak. I should definitely make some top 5 of my favorite tweaks. All of that is coming soon, but this is how you can jailbreak and get Cydia up and running. And I have Cydia Substrate. Cydia Substrate is like the brain. It's like the kernel of anything to keep all your tweaks up and running. So it does work. Let me install my favorite tweak. Let me let me let me install Zeppelin just for you guys. Zeppelin is always like one of my Zeppelin and uh, Swipe Selection is always like my first tweaks that I like to install first so, okay make sure to check out the list in the description don't install any old thing check out that list before you even install any tweak it does void your warranty but just restore your phone and you'll be right back to normal oh yeah and you could put back your passcode you could put back all your you know your iCloud your information all right so you guys can see on the top I'm having the sprint on top and there you go there's Zeppelin that we just installed so now I can have the Apple logo. Oh, it's actually not even there. It's actually overlapping. Now, since this is a fresh new jailbreak, things is gonna be, it, it's, it is gonna take some time to be compatible. But I always like to have nothing. It keeps it nice and minimalistic. But there's so many tweaks you can, you guys can get, man. Take my word for it. I highly recommend you guys jailbreak it, man. This is the Pops approval. That you should jailbreak. Trust me. It's so good to have Cydia, man. Look at that. We gotta zoom into Cydia. Look at that. 